Bodine52, how are you folks? Do you ever go out for a ride and actually feel guilty that you did? Usually I don't, but today I kind of do. So I'm heading home. So it is a Sunday as I am recording this video. And uh, yesterday the weather wasn't so good, but today was great. And I remember telling my beautiful wife, Mrs. Bodine, I'm going to get out on the bike tomorrow. And she's like, sounds awesome. It's going to be a great day. Have fun. I'm like, you want to go? She's like, no, I got some things I want to do. I'm like, okay. Truth is, it's not 85 yet. Bite me. That's really what the truth is. Uh, but she'll be out on the bike hopefully soon because I do enjoy her on the back of the bike. But one of the things that she said this morning, I thought it was kind of cool. She's just like, have fun. I'm like, well, you know, I may go for a long ride. I may go a couple hundred miles. And she's like, hey, it's a great day. You got to do it. Have fun. I'm like, oh, man, that's great. So I'm like, you have a good day, too. I'll see you later this afternoon. I'm just blew by a cop, too. You shouldn't speed, folks. Kids, do the speed limit may have a really good video here in a minute. I guess not. Um, but she says, enjoy yourself. I'm like, all right, great. So I go out, been riding, I don't know, 70 miles one way to this place to get something to eat and check out a couple of dealerships. And, you know, it's 70 miles back. And I'm like, man, I'm going to go stop here and get something to eat. Had a nice lunch. You know, I'm sitting up at the bar having a, a water and a chicken wrap. I know you wanted those details. That's why I threw that in there. Um, and uh, and my phone goes off, and I have a, a camera system at my house. Uh, not because I live it in a bad neighborhood, but it's because there are some people that aren't above board in the world today, and I'm actually just trying to protect them, actually, from me being there and seeing it. So, regardless, focus, bony, focus. So, I get an alarm that our backyard camera went off. I'm like, huh. So, I uh, I look at it, and it's Mrs. Bodine, and she is walking towards the shed. I'm like, huh. Okay, so she's out doing something, and she had asked me to bring home some extra mulch and potting soil and stuff for her last week so I made a stop on the way back and I said hey you know let's do this together I don't want you lifting it blah 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 we'll put it in the on the back of the uh, little dolly you pull behind the tractor blah 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 she's like okay great no problem so I'm not thinking too much about it I'm like oh she's out just probably planting some flowers or something and uh, I finish and I'm getting ready to uh, pay and it goes off again so I look again, and she's got the shed doors open. She's got, like, the tractor out. She's got a whole bunch of rakes and stuff out in the yard. And I'm like, she's, like, out there working it. And I'm like, wow. And, she, and by the way, I, you know, your spouse, this is this is world according to Bodine 52, so take it for what it's worth is you either have somebody that likes being outdoors and likes being outside doing stuff like that, working in the yard, working in your on your house, or you have somebody that doesn't like doing that. I am fortunate that if I'm going to go outside and do a lot of stuff in the yard or have a big project outside, she's out there and wants to help. I mean, she really is fantastic, uh, very, very fortunate uh, of, about that. Um, but I'm like, I'll bet she's planting the one shrub that I got that we didn't put in in the fall. And I bet she's moving all the mulch. And I'm betting, I'm like, crap, I'm outside talking to some dude after lunch for like 20 minutes. This is after I saw the video. And, uh, and I'm like, man, that's... You know, it's still only 2.30. I could get home in an hour, hour and a half, be home by 4, you know. So I texted her, and I said, hey, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna head back and do some of that stuff in the yard. Well, she wants to have her phone inside because she hasn't replied, and I'm feeling a little bit guilty because I have gotten a good 150 miles in or so so far today, and she really is out doing some yard stuff, probably some manual stuff too. Now she can do that. Don't get me wrong, but I kind of feel guilty. There's a uh, I think that's it. That's the only time I feel guilty about riding. Oh, no, there's a couple other times. Now, I have two older sisters. I'm the, the youngest child in our family. And uh, one of my sisters, my oldest sister, since uh, we lost our parents years ago, she's kind of the how-you-keep-the-family-together type person, right? There's a party. She has it. You know, somebody's birthday. She has it. It's uh, 4th of July. I have it, but everything else she has. And she always does them kind of like on a Friday at 4 or 5 o'clock. And it's nice because you see family, and I love family. I actually moved back here for that. Um, but I swear that she does those things outside of holidays, because holidays, of course, is for family, only on those days that I already have a ride planned whether I'm riding somewhere to do something or where I have a commitment I'm riding with somebody. And I am one of those guys, if I'm telling you I'm riding with you, I'm riding with you. If, if I tell you I'm going to be there at 4 o'clock, I'm going to be there at 10 to 4, or you're going to get a phone call for me telling you I'm going to be late. Just how, how I grew up, right or wrong. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little, uh, little on-time crazy. Ask those folks that... Uh, work in my offices. They'll tell you the same thing. Be late for a Bob meeting, you're going to get the father lecture the first time. The second time, you're going to get the real father lecture. But, so sometimes she'll do that, and especially because it's for like my nieces or nephews, and they're young, and, and a couple of them I'm really close to, and they're all really cool, but it's like a birthday party for one of them. <laughs> tunnel, bridge, I and, and I, I love them to death. But man, I gotta ride. I, Mrs. Bodine's great. She goes, oh, don't worry about it. You got stuff. Have fun. I'll go. And she goes and loves that stuff and babysits. It's fantastic. But I do feel a little bit of guilt on those days. On other days, if I'm going out riding, man, I have gotten my mindset that I'm gonna go riding. And other than a house fire, I'm riding. Or apparently, if I see my wife in the backyard getting ready to do a whole lot of work that I should probably be helping her with, eh, then I feel a little guilty. I don't know, but that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if that makes me a good person or a bad person. Or a guilty person. What does it make you? Do you ever feel bad about going out for a ride? Or do you just go, puff? Tough crap, dude. They know we're going out. Or some people come back and say, that's why I'm not married. I'll do what I want. I, well, I get that. I like that. That's good, too. But, I don't know. Guilty as charged. Let me know what you think about the subject. I appreciate you guys tagging along. If you'd like to see some other uh, videos, I do have a playlist on my... Uh, both bikes, my Road King Classic, as well as my 2021 Road Glide Limited that I am on right now. But I do have a playlist, and uh, you can check out both of those playlists right here. Be safe. Checking a friend. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, folks.